Ikeje la ruke ni le ojua o Awa gangan ni baba Oiki ni bia Oiki ni bia Oiki ni bia Ibi ni ni mwondo za tiyo doste Then ever sabi Waiting we carry for her Oti de mwondo za ni mwondo za ni mwondo za ni they never know which thing we carry for body. But if they move closer before they go sabi. Oki lo lo ja e e ni un lo lo la ju. Aye to do ri go do bi a do ngwe te le do. Kasi chef un le baba wa. Kasi chef un ilu baba wa. Kaju mo so wa po kale go do do a ga. Go do do a ko ba le do wa. Omo o do do a se giri. Edi de fun e to a do la wo. Kale jo ju mo be re le ileri. Kawale ba o ko ile wa. Kasi she kale jo ba de. Kale ba de a de a do la wo. Awa ni mo de ti yo tan kaki. Awa langwe to la ruge Ejo jopo jogo Jiwa mani Kasa Ejo kulu waja waka je buba inje Ejo jopo jogo Jiwa mani Angbe so la ruge Angda sa la ruge Ejo jopo jogo Jiwa mani News and sports Emma Rigo Ejo jopo jogo Oh my jebu ala remi lo ni ki ma ke tata Go yi ki mi dia, alo la kwa ju mo mi yo Ma ba she re lo Oh my yoruba ni ye, oh my yoruba tata Ang ta du re, oh my jebu ala remi She yi lo ma fi di bo te ma le ho E yi lo mo ni bo ma ande ma de ma de E yi lo mo ni bo ma wo ma wo ma wo ho Ibo ma wo ta jo jo bo do wo A jo ji do ba wo be A te de ni bo ra E e yi lo ma na wo O yi bo to de Ik ba to yi bo de ho O wo na de tu kwa si ho Ko yi ki mi da Sa wa ni ba ba I don't pay the gid. I want langwe to la ruge je kajobo. I don't care for to ilewa, for to ile yoruba. I want to do aniwa o, kaka kaka. Iku to se bi le biosi. Adimu baba yo We bring you up closer to your doorstep I bet you don't feel you don't can give you a lot of money I bet you don't feel you don't can give you a lot of money I bet you don't feel you don't can give you a lot of money I bet you don't feel you don't can give you a lot of money I We bring you up closer to your doorstep. Oh, you give me that is a ra. Ah, is a rando. They decide to me. I'm not a lesile. I can't see a boy to do what you do. They decide to me. I'm not a lesile. I can't see a boy to do what. Atun bo ni si, oku de, e fun mini few minutes. E yi te mi, ya du tu ready fun ro le. Awan service chiefs, 
ko da yoruba nation duro e ma ko ta party mo nbo na e ka fele se e fun mi ni ki o mi o ku die a ma connect gbogbo epapo ra won nisin e ko ko gbadun igbowo osha ina e n tolon ti da oya igbowo ba n ba won soro Connect the studio to see. Uh, we're eight minutes behind schedule. But we're my daughter only sent for many few minutes. The best radio show broadcasting worldwide online broadcasting worldwide online twenty four seven. smartphone this is star radio uk are you ready to turn it up 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 wow wednesday it is the Wednesday edition. It is 10 minutes past. It is the Star Radio UK Network. And I say good evening once again to all our listeners and viewers from around the world. 
and welcome to the finest African and Caribbean radio station in London. You might be asking why I'm laughing, and I'm going to be telling you a reason why, you know, in just about a few minutes. First and foremost, let me appreciate my producer, Mr. Frank David, Mr. Archie. Uh, Frank, you must send us dollar fries, you know. Uh, it seems that, uh, you know, you're spending more than enough time on the other side of the globe. And I would like to say, remember that, uh, you know, we have to eat what they call the jollof fries. But the only difference is that the Yoruba owns the jollof fries. But for whatever reason, uh, you know, the Yoruba people, uh, you know, from the southwest part of what is known as Nigeria, um, have literally believed so much that, uh, you know, their, their belief, their mind is that Nigeria, uh, you know, is the best option as we have it, especially, you know, when we have a Yoruba president. But he's not actually a Yoruba president, but he's a, he's a, he's a Nigerian president. I'm talking about Bola Ahmed Tenobo. It is the Star Radio UK Network. My name is Olami Koiki. I'd like to say good evening to my beautiful mother, uh, and first and foremost to, uh, you know, the family of uh, a beloved mother, a grandmother uh, that passed on in London. Uh, they are doing... Uh, what they called, you know, part of the service for her. that a lot of people probably neglect because of the terrorism in Nigeria. Uh, you know, um, maybe some of you are not aware. Um, I did receive a special, well, not a special. We received a video, and that video was sent to me by CSI himself. Uh, but one thing is, um, all I can say is that, uh, all I can say is that, why do we need to wait until the terrorists kill every one of us. Maybe I should remind you that we are still in danger. We will not be able to show the video, but let me just play one of the audio that came with the video. Let's listen to it before we go into the program. <laughs> So for those that do not understand the Yoruba, 
that is being spoken in that video. What is happening there is that uh, today, the 21st of June, 2023, there was another attack by Fulani terrorists. And we have to clarify those that are doing this attack. You know, they are the Fulani that have been disturbing the Yoruba and the, uh, the other part of Nigeria. And the only thing we can say is, are there going to be any changes with all these new faces? These are the new faces that are now in charge of the security of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Are we going to see anything different from the previous ones? These are the questions that so many Nigerians are asking today. All I can say is that Nigeria is going through a turbulent, and until the Yoruba people and those that want a proper dissolution of Nigeria, Nigeria is too big. You might not really understand why we say that we cannot continue to live in denial. Nigeria needs to be broken into smaller particles so that we can have an opportunity so that we can be able to do exactly what we want to do, not what Nigeria wants us to do by not able to provide the enabling security for as many Nigerians as we say today. So I can only pray for so many Yoruba and the rest of the Nigerians that are facing these terrible attack by the Fulani terrorists on a daily basis in what is known as Nigeria. But one thing we can also say is that are we, we going to sit back and, and allow today? this attack to continue? But one thing we can say what is that an average, if you do nothing, terrorism will continue to happen. If you say nothing, then you are also promoting the wrongdoing. Good evening to Kinsley. Ina De Kanu has now spent two years in the custody of the DSS. Dr. Chief Sunday Bowo, by the 1st of July, in the next couple of days, it will literally make it two years that his home was destroyed. Not just a home, he was almost assassinated. It was a government intention to kill him and take him out because he's asking for one thing. Asking for the right of the Yoruba people that are being killed in the Southwest. Also, two innocent lives were killed. And as we speak today, nobody is saying anything to those lives. Good evening to you, Comrade Shegun Ono. Good evening to you, Mrs. Grace Olushoto. Akila De Emmanuel. Good evening to you. Good evening to you, Alaja Barua. Good evening to you, Chief Bangola. Uh, Chief Bangola. Good evening to my beautiful mother. Good evening to Mrs. Falashade Johnson. Good evening to you, Mr. Stephen. Good evening to those of you that have joined us and those that believe that we, the Yoruba people, will not be carried away by the new appointment of the government of Bola Tinobu. It does not make any difference. Bola Tinobu has the right to protect Nigerians. That is the reason why he has brought in all those new chief of staff, those that can make difference. This is the Star Radio UK Network. This comes up every Wednesday between 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. where we look at every situation room as we speak right now in Nigeria. Like I say, let me first appreciate all our listeners, our viewers from different parts of the globe. And we must remind you, good evening to you, Undi Innovative. Good evening to you, our grandmother, Felicia Ajagbe. Good evening to you, Ajibade Didi. Good evening to you, Luke 604. Good evening to you, Prince, Prince Ade Oloyumbo. Tenny 01, and it's not the other Tenny that has been disturbing the social media space. I am not going to focus my mind on those that are trying to destroy the movement. I am going to focus our mind. Good evening to you, Pastor Mo. Welcome to the program. And also, we appreciate those of you that believe that we are still on the right track. It does not matter how many distractions is coming out there. Good evening to you, our mother, Elizabeth Ode Lola, and everyone that believe that the Yoruba people should not get carried away because Bola Tinubu is giving us a Yoruba chief of staff, a Yoruba first time at the custom. It is a good initiative. 
because we have been marginalized for a very long time. So if we now have a Yoruba Inspector General of Police, it is our right. We are the majority in Nigeria, but Nigeria has literally kept us behind for a very long time. And that is why in the last so many years, a Yoruba man has not been in charge of the custom that believes that we should be the one that is part of the custom. So when people say that, why are we excited? Why are we jubilating that we have a Yoruba Inspector General Police? Tell them that we have the right to be happy. But it is only for four years. All this is only a temporary measure. The better option at 1621 on the Star Radio Network is for us to have our own self-independent country called a Yoruba nation, a Yoruba Odudua Republic, whatever name we want to call it. But for now, so many Yoruba people who are excited and we say you must be excited. Do not let anybody intimidate you. But let me remind you, it is only there for the next four years. We are not going to be there forever. Oh, Mithola Kennedy, good evening to you. Shout out to all my good friends in Manchester, in Luton, in Milton Kings. Walata, good evening to you. Good evening to all the Yoruba media that are working very hard. Good evening to you, Imperial Majesty. Don't forget, we also need political power to get Yoruba Nation. Yes, I love that. I have always said it that we will do whatever it takes to get Yoruba Nation. So Tinobu being part of the Nigeria political system, there's nothing wrong in that. But we hope that Bola Ahmed Tinobu, that is a very highly intelligent human being. We know his capacity. We have seen it before. There is no doubt in our mind that Bola Tinobu will be able to take us through the process that East Timor did and they end up having their own country after a president was changed when the other president or a military dictator for 30 years. Well, they had a new president in Indonesia in 1999, and that new individual allowed the referendum of East Timor, and today East Timor is now a country. So there's no doubt in our mind, yes, we need that political power. That is there now, and we will give him as much time because what we are discussing is not just going to happen overnight. But yes, as many Yoruba people believe that we should have got our nation even as last year. We should have even got our nation even as far back as three years ago, ten years ago. But all these things don't happen as we might want it. So when people say that, oh, Yoruba nation, Yoruba nation, you guys are deceiving us. No. It is a process. Even Scotland, next week, no, this week, Saturday, the Scottish people are coming out again for a massive protest to tell the Westminster and the British Parliament that they must be given another referendum so that they can have their way out of what is called the Union of Great Britain. So you are quite right, Imperial Majesty King Adeoye. We should try to penetrate through the political power because what we know as we speak right now is that we don't have a referendum clause in the 1999 fraudulent military dictator. But but should Bola Ahmed Tinobu do nothing? <laughs> you can see the way I was laughing. If the president Bola Ahmed Tinobu do nothing between now and then, oh my Lord, the Yoruba people will smell happy. What do you hear? The Yoruba people will smell happy. Good evening to you, Mrs. Root. So, everything that we are discussing tonight, good evening to you, Abayomi, and welcome to the program. And shout out to all my family in Ogun State. The new Inspector General of Police, we say thank you so much to Bola Tinobu. Yes, I say thank you so much because we have been marginalized to the extent that one particular ethnic group believes that it can take control of what belongs to us in the waterway. Buhari was almost going to allow the waterway to go out of our possession. Good evening to those of you on the Mix LR. 
Wow, Comrade Plan B. Good evening to you, Allahu Baba, and the rest of you in Oyo State. Good evening to all our sister network broadcasts. And once again, this is the finest African and Caribbean radio station in London. This is how we do it every Wednesday. We talk about the issues having effect on Nigerian. Oh, shout out to those of you that saw me at the Nigerian High Commission today. I wasn't going inside. I was just on my way to number 10 down the street. And like I said, I did promise you I'll be sharing a picture with you exclusive mm? just make sure you stay tuned before the end of the program it's an exclusive picture it's not even out at all it's only for those of you that are the friends of the star radio uk but what you can also do for us is how many of you are following us on the twitter the twitter is very hot what do you think is going to happen to the court case that is still going on do you know that you can also Also, it is called Star Radio. This is Star Radio UK. This is Star Radio UK. And again, if you don't know, broadcasting worldwide online 24 7. <laughs> Broadcasting worldwide online 24-7. Also, we are also saying to those of you joining us, this is how we do it. And again, if you don't know, it is a welcome to the Star Radio UK Network, Mr. Kainde Adeyemi. Good evening to those of you in the saying, don't worry. Eh? Make una no worry. What you not worry for when you don't get a new chief of army staff? I will be telling you all their names and I will be giving you everything you need to know about each and every one of these chief of staff that Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he was a very smart guy. He was not going to leave Nigeria without putting the structure in place. <laughs> Bola Tinubu, the Jagabad. <laughs> he was not going to leave anybody that Buhari was putting there because he's very scared. I am you on at Innovative. Okay, thank you so much. You innovative. Shout out to you, Qualitech, my brother. I hope technology is not yet failing those at the sea. Hmm. Hey, hey, oh. I've been following the story about these five individuals that are below 12,500 12, feet below the water. Hey, oh my Lord. We pray that there's something that will turn around and will bring them back as quickly as possible. Hmm. It's not easy. Bola Tinubu removed all the service chief before he traveled to Paris. He's currently there. Good evening to those of you, all our mothers. King, good evening to you. And most importantly, good evening to Professor Oraku Adebanji Akintoye. Good evening to all the Ilano. In Canada, shout out to those of you in Ilano. In the United States of America, Ilano. In Nigeria, but most importantly, under the deputy chairman of the YSDM, Called the Yoruba Self Determination Movement, Chief Banji Ayiloge. I say good evening to you, Daddy. Shout out to everyone that believes in the Biafra movement, in the Yoruba nation struggle, the Niger Delta, not the Asari Dokubo, and everyone who is going to replace power. It seems that there was a conflict news outside yesterday. We thought that it was somebody, but the news seems to be not yet confirmed. But Latinobu decided that it is time to hang the boot of every one of those criminals that could not protect Nigeria from the former president, Muhammad Buhari, that was spotted somewhere in Baker Street on his way to pray. Buhari say baba, Buhari tisoro atigbo. That was Wasil. Once again, this is the network, this is the station, this is where you can listen to all the news update about Nigeria. Nigeria, according to Router, if you want to find out what is going on, stick to the www.starradiouk network where you can get all the news. It's called www.starradiouk.com. But most importantly, what is the, uh, the network news media saying? Adeyemosh Adeshino Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Buari has already moved cattle to all our sea beach. Only God knows if those Fulani are intending to move cows inside the sea. A very lunatic man. 
Buhari, one of the most wicked presidents Nigeria has ever come across. Do you know that according to the World Bank, 64 million Nigerians will be in hunger situation? Hey, hey, oh my Lord, what is going on? Please, Eledumari, save us from what is going on. 64 million Nigerians at risk of hunger by August, according to the World Bank. Are you going to be among them? Congratulations to Nigerians, because each time we tell you that Nigeria is a big, gigantic country that has so much, but little less to offer Nigerians. But the most important thing in every country is security. If the security is wrong, then every single one of you is in danger. You cannot run your business. You cannot run logistic. Do you know that Amazon runs a lot of logistic around the world? We would have loved the same situation where Amazon can operate in Nigeria. Hey, but imagine if Amazon have to deliver in Okipupo. Hey, hey, hey. Imagine if Amazon has to deliver in Oshobo and they have to be attacked by Fulani terrorists. That is the reason why we are saying to so many Yoruba people, it is not about a Yoruba controller in the port. It is not about the chief of Amistad, but it is still, like somebody said earlier, don't forget, we also need political power. That is why we say negotiation, discussion, diplomacy, civil disobedience, but most importantly, consultation between the federal government and the Yoruba nation agitation and the Biafra and the Middle Belt and whoever believes that Nigeria is not working for them. And whoever wants to keep Nigeria, they have the right. But the Yoruba people will be given every right that is inalienable according to the 1514 resolution of the United Nations on December 16, 1960. But before we get to that stage, we must first have discussion about the protection of lives and property of every single Nigerian, regardless whether they are from our side or not. And who is going to deal with that? This is where the conversation comes tonight. It's all about the, the service chiefs. Let me say this clearly. No one. Kingsley said, prison break during Buhari. Oh, you are reminding me about the bad Buhari under Raufu Arebe Mugo. <laughs> so much atrocity happened during the eight years that I'm sure that Bola Tinobu might be protecting Buhari. Once again, I say good evening to Dr. Chief Sunday Bowo. Good evening to Mazi Inam the Kanu. Good evening to all the Biafra. I say, oh, hey, Latinobo Igbowo. We're going to be coming back to that. But first and foremost, how is this government going to deal with the insecurity without a stable country that has security? Everyone is in danger. I say the weather is very beautiful today. Shout out to once again, those of you that met me at the Nigerian Eye Commission today, especially somebody that got lost trying to buy postal order. That embassy needs to change. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you need to work on the Nigerian embassy here in London at number nine or Timberland. We do not want a situation where we are told to go and buy money order. When we can do everything with our bank card in 21st century, we are moving forward, we are not moving backward. So I will be expecting some changes, especially at the Nigerian High Commission here in London, where things need to change. You can continue to disturb Nigeria. Imagine I have to travel all the way from Southampton. This young man said to me, I've never been to London. I am from Southampton. I don't know where is London. I don't know where the post office is. And they have been told to go and get the postal order. I am directing this now to Nigerian President Bola Ahmed Tinobu. There should be changes at the Nigerian High Commission because so many Nigerians are facing difficulties to get their Nigerian passport across the world. What is going on? Oh my Lord. How can we have a country that is still operating like an analog? Aziz, oh, all the way from Miami. I cannot love you less, my brother. Shout out to those of you in Miami, in America. Adebanjo, Oluya Shegun say, 
father of all Yoruba nation media. One man to mow. He say now wow. <laughs> hey, bomb me at that. I was at the Nigerian High Commission today, not on a courtesy visit. You know, I'm not sure when, when they're going to invite me. Eh? They need to invite me now. Maybe when Bola Tinobu comes to London, I will probably come and get to speak to Bola Tinobu and ask him when he's going to do the needful so that the Yoruba people can exit Nigeria. That will be my question to him. I can't wait to see him in London, but currently he's in Paris and I can't fly down there, you know, because, you know, for one reason or the other. Pastor Mo said, correct, the suffering is too much. The Nigerian embassy is a hellfire. <laughs> Good evening to you, my brother. One man went to Mo. Hey, what is going on with somebody that has decided that he will pay 67,000 pounds to go and visit the Titanic? Let me ask this question. Who is going to among you right now? Okay, let's say you have, you know, 67,000 pounds. Will you use that money? I mean, if you have enough, are you going to travel down 12,500 feet under the ocean to go and see the wreckage of Titanic? Be honest with me. Who's going to do that? Kisney says, Postal order money goes straight to their pocket. What? Bola Tinubu, the president. They are doing fraud at the Nigerian embassy. Oh, please. So many Nigerians are complaining. I met a young man from Southampton. You know, most of them are complaining. Good evening to you, Mr. Wa Mr. Will and the uh, Mo Bo Mo 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 Ade Tula. I hope I didn't massacre the name. There are too many fraud going on. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of fraud going on at the embassy. We know that. If London is fraud, then definitely the one in America, in New York, in Togo, <coughs> excuse me. There's a lot of fraud going on in Nigeria embassy. Dami Emmanuel, good evening to you. The question that I want to focus back now is about the service chief. Let's talk about them. What are your expectations as Nigerian? What do you think they're going to be doing? According to Router, Nigeria Bola Ahmetinobu removed security chiefs in a major reshuffle. <coughs> Abuja, June 19 Routers. Nigerian President Bola Ahmetinobu made a sweeping changes to the defense forces on Monday, forcing out the security chiefs and the head of police less than a month after taking office. Tinubu, who was sworn in on May 29, has made security one of his major priorities and promised to reform to the sector, including recruiting of more soldiers, giving them Agbado and Cassava. 50 million. Recruit. Recruit them into the soldier. What are they going to eat? Agbado, Cassava? I don't know whether he still believes in that, but he said it. And also the police officer, while paying and equipping them, equipping them better. Nigerian military is stretched, fighting a long-running Islamic Fulani insurgency in the Northeast. Not only in the Northeast, in the Southwest, in the Southeast. Also, as many Nigerians as at today, somewhere in Yoruba land, there was a report that Fulani killed as many people. Some are already dead as we speak right now, while some are in the hospital. Hmm. Hey, hey, oh. Wahala, wahala. Legain, are you ready to pay 67,000 pounds to visit the wreckage of the Titanic? Aziz Shakiru, good evening to you, Peru. Good evening and welcome. Nigerian embassy in London is a mess, and we hope that Latinobu will reshuffle every single one of them Remove whoever needs to be removed because Nigeria cannot continue to suffer even if we have to have a final dissolution of the country. Let's go further. It is not unusual for a new Nigerian president to send security chiefs into the early retirement upon taking office, as Bola Tinubu did on Monday. He has picked Nuru Rubadu, a former senior police officer and the ex-head of the country's economic and financial crime, as his his national security advisor, Major General Christopher Musa, who until last year was leading the army fight against the insurgency, takes over as the new 
two chief of defense staff from Lucky Irabo. Remember that the former chief of defense staff, Lucky Irabo, what kept, I don't understand when these people come to London. They don't want everybody to know. You must tell Nigerians that you are coming down here so that we can have a town hall meeting and ask you questions. And I hope the new security chiefs will be doing what they call a town hall conversation with every Nigerian to find a lasting solution to the problem of the insurgency. Oh my God. Again, if you're joining me for the first time, it is called... UK. Once again, shout out to Mr. Archie and the rest of the team that are working behind. Musa takes over the leadership of the military in the aftermath of a router report last year that the Nigerian army was running a secret and illegal abortion program. <laughs> Nigeria army running abortion program. Eh? I hope things will change at least pending the time that everybody will find a lasting solution to our problem, which is a Yoruba nation country, the right to our sovereignty. Let's go further. Musa denied the program ever existed, but Rauta reporting was part of a foreign effort to undermine the country fight against the insurgents. Tinubu also named a new commander of the Army, Navy, and the Air Forces, as well as a new head of the Nigerian Customs Service that a lot of Yoruba people are now like, wow, oh, mo. we don't get a Yoruba manu. We now have a Yoruba custom. Look at his eyes. You can see he looks like me. Eh? You understand what I know? You get me? Hmm? But remember, this one is only for four years. After four years, Bola Tinubu needs to negotiate another four years. And we hope in that period, it will do what needs to be done so that Nigeria can decide whether we want to stay together or we just want to allow a peaceful dissolution of the country. Good evening to you, Mr. Sunday Makinde, and welcome to the live transmission. My name again is Ola Mikoiki. Shout out to those of you on the MixLR. Shout out to each and everyone that have joined us on the network. DG underscore 75 say, reshuffling of all the service chief. Reshuffling of all the service chief means nothing to me because it is turn by turn. Nigeria Limited, Yoruba Nation is what I want. Hmm. Maze Gold, good evening and welcome to each and all the quiet listeners that refuse to put a comment out there. Shout out to my brother, we'll be coming to you very soon, all the way in the southwest where you're going to be telling us everything about what your group are doing when it comes to farming in Yoruba land. Who, who remember that song? So, ni agbara ledu mare ni alei ama lanfa ni ati gbo gbogbo nti awon okan se ninu egbe yoruba nation nipa nkan igbe gbogbo e ni won ma salaye fun wa lekun rere ni asale yi latara awon ti wojo ndari eto na ogun ta de se se politician purposefully plan what is going on eh okay i hope that the chief of staff and the Inspector General of Police, the new Inspector General of Police, let me give you the background. We will try as much as possible to see if we can give you the background of each and every one of these individuals, if time permits. So, but for now, let's go back again. My discussion tonight is focused around the new service chiefs that Bola Tinobu was a very smart man. He was not going to leave everyone that Buhari was putting there and travel out of the country. Eh? Imagine if he comes back and he, you know, there's a coup. <laughs> Bolatino with the Jagaban. He's not going to take any chances. Oh, yeah, Bogo Gwandano. He removed every single one of them without leaving anybody behind. He's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. Once again, Sahid Jimo, thank you so much for joining us. And to the rest of you, of you that are still watching us, I say welcome to what we call the Star Radio UK Network. Once again. Radio. Okay. This is Star Radio UK. This is Star Radio 
Yes, it is called the Star Radio UK. This is how we roll it out every Wednesday from 6 p.m. up to 8.30 p.m. local time in London, where we discuss about Nigeria, we discuss about the current situation, we focus on the current affair. But if you have not joined us on the Star Radio UK on Twitter, <coughs> what are you doing? You need to join us on the Star Radio UK network. Shout out to my beautiful mom. Uh, I was able to see her this afternoon. And I say, good evening, mother, and welcome to those of you in Ghana, in Dubai, in uh, America, in uh, Canada. Shout out to those of you in every part of Africa, especially those that are in Benin Republic. I say, Lewa. Thank you so much. Once again, as we say all the time, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of dust, uh, you know, as you can tell, the weather is very, very Tiny. When I went to the number 10 down the street, the officer was saying to me as I was approaching the security gate, the weather is not blowing any wind. <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, uh, it's UK now. It's UK weather. What do you think? The UK weather never gives you what you want. So we hope and pray that everyone involved in the search and rescue of these five innocent lives that is now stuck under the water we pray that it is going to get. Wow, I'm just getting a news. I am just getting a breaking news. Wow, a breaking news from Simon. Epa. Well, it's about almost two hours ago, but it says the Boko Haram ambushed the Nigerian army when they come to Izumbo, they brag after killing Biafra women and children. I'll see if I can get that soundtrack. How many people have seen that images? There's a lot going on in Nigeria. We pray for you know as many people that are facing difficulties. I can see as many soldiers on the floor. Some of them are injured and some of them are dead. That is the news that I've just spotted on the Twitter handle of the government in exile, the Prime Minister of the Biafra, Simon Ekba. Um, let me see if the Nigerian army has made any reference to that. And I hope it's not a new video. Maybe it's not. I don't know yet. Okay, this is what we are saying. There hasn't been any update even as of today on the Nigerian army in you know, Twitter feed. I don't know how this organization operate in 21st century. So I will be playing a little bit of the soundtrack of that. But for now, uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Adesoya Muki, uh, you know, what is, you know, to say the officer need a Yoruba land weather. The officer at the number 10 down the street, like I said, I promise to show you an exclusive picture that is not out in the public domain. So make sure you stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Once again, shout out to our mother, Elizabeth Adesonia. Shout out to Elijah Adeyeye. Shout out to all our grandmothers, our bishop, our fathers, all our traditionalists. But most importantly, shout out to every Yoruba man, even if you disagree with the dissolution of Nigeria. I am still on the situation room. Let me give you every details that we know. Profile of the Nigerian Chief of Army Staff, Abiodun Lagbaja. Who is Abiodun Lagbaja? Major General Lagbaja replaces Lieutenant General Farouk Yahya, who was appointed by the former President Muhammad Buhari in 2021. The, 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 the Chief of Army Staff is the one on my right hand side, for those of you on the screen. Uh, anyway, you can tell from the uniform. The controller general of the custom is the one with the gray outfit. So let's give you a background. On about the new chief of army staff. President Bola Tinubu on Monday have now appointed Major General Tarid Abiodun Lagbaja as the chief of army staff. Remember, I say, Welcome. 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 
UK. This is Star Radio UK. You Your smartphone. Broadcasting worldwide online 24 7. Broadcasting worldwide online 24 7. In your car, at work, at home, on your smartphone. The best radio show. The best radio show. The best radio show. So that is about it on the Star Radio UK. Once again, tomorrow is the property hour. Make sure you stay tuned. But for now, it is still the Star Radio UK, the Niger Voices. Like I say, uh, we will be heading to uh, Nigeria Southwest. Uh, where we have someone that will be telling us about everything we need to know when it comes to farming. These are part of the Yoruba Nation movement uh, that have decided that Mr. Abraham Black, good evening and welcome. Let's go back to Major General Lagbaja that replaced Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya. His early life, he was born in Ilobu, Irepodun, local government area of Oshun State, on the 28th of February, 1968. He attended local authority teachers college demonstration school, Oshobo, between 1973 and 1979. He went on further to attend St. Charles Grammar School, Oshobo, from 1979 to 1984. He attended the Polytechnic Ibadan from 1984 to 1986, where he obtained the West African School Certificate Advanced Level. He was admitted into the Nigerian Defense Academy on the 12th of September 1987 as a member of the 39th Regular Corps. He commissioned as a second on the 19th September 1992 into the Nigerian Army Infantry Corps. Some of the courses, a company amphibious operation course, amphibious training school between May and June 1993, a young officer course infantry, Nigerian Army School of Infantry, Jaji, from September to December 1993 with a C+. A basic airborne course, Nigerian Army School of Infantry, Jaji, between March to April 1995, not graded. Advanced airborne course, Nigerian Army School Infantry, Jaji, from November to December 1995, not graded. Amphibious Staff Operation course, Amphibious Training School, from September to December 1997. 7C Company co Commander Course Nigerian Army School of Infantry Nigerian Infantry uh, from December from September to December 2009. Once again, this is still Star Radio UK, your finest African and Caribbean radio station in London. Once again, Military Observer Course Peacekeeping Wing, Nigerian Army School of Infantry, Jaji, from February to May 2008, with a B. He also went to ECOA Standby Forces Battalion Command Post Course Peacekeeping Center, Bamako, Mali, from June to August 2010, not graded. Also, a Strategic and Leadership Course, the U.S. Army War College, from April 2003 to June 2014, not graded. Command and Staff Instructional Appointment, 93 Battalion from 1992 to 1995 as a platoon commander. 72 Special Force Battalion from 1995 to 2001 as a platoon commander. Nigerian Defense Academy from 2001 to 2004 as an instructor. And so he has a lot. Let's talk about the promotion history. Second Lieutenant from, from 12th of September 1987, Lieutenant from 12th of September 1991, he was a captain on the 12th of September 1995, a major on the 12th of September 2000, a lieutenant colonel on the 12th of September 2005, a colonel on the 12th of September 2010, a brigadier general on the 12th of September 2015, a major general on the 12th of September 2019. He also has some award next to him. Four service staff, material service staff, service staff, forces service staff, Distinguished Service Star, a past staff course plus fellow United States Army War College Commander Medal, Field Command Medal, Field Command Medal of Honor, General Operation Medal, Operation Armon Medal, United Nations Peacekeeping Operation Medal, Operation Lafayette. I remember that Operation Lafayette. I remember that name very well. The Operation Lafayette. Let's take you through a little bit about that Operation Lafayette. Operation Lafayette, though, according to what we have, 
was uh, a kind of an oppression. You know, the, the Nigerian army always have. It was then the, you know, um, the former general Yaya. Let's talk about that particular operation. It was an operation just like so many operation, Operation Python does, that went on to kill so many people that also almost eliminate Inam the Kano, but he survived it. So the troops of Operation Lafayette do in 2020, according to the news from the Nigerian military, troops of Operation Lafayette do sustained their own slaughter against the Boko Haram and the ice swap criminal across the Northeast. It is evident from recent encounter with the Boko Haram and the ice swap that the resilience of the troops of Operation Lafayette do is being sustained across the Northeast theater of operation resulting to I, Boko Haram, and I swap casualties on both men and equipment as well as capture or surrendering of some of their fighters. In their resolve to end Boko Haram and I swap menace, the Northeast region between the 1st and the 30th of June 2020, the gallant troops of Operation Lafayette Do had a total of 17 encounters with the terrorists, neutralizing 75 of them in the process, the encounter also led to the capture of assaulted arms and large capture of ammunition, including one anti-aircraft gun, 13 AK-47, one sniper rifle, 21 locally made guns, two Danny guns, one rocket propeller gun, others include three and grenade, five So you can tell that this new chief of defense staff has been on the operation field. But the question I'm asking tonight is, is it going to make any difference? Some of his academic uh, uh, qualification, he has a BSc in Geography, Nigerian Defense Academy in 2001, a Master's Strategy Study at the United States Army War College in 2014, Operation Participated, also is Operation Harmony in Bakasi Peninsula in 1996 to 2000, United Nations Mission. Remember that the Nigerian Army are always doing very well outside. But for whatever reason, they are not doing very well in Nigeria. It's because it has been compromised by the Fulani Kabars that have strangled. Somebody like the former Bratai, the chief of army staff, should now be detained, but he's still an ambassador. And I hope the current president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, will ask for the arrest, just as Imefele has been detained, and so many of them like that. Wari Zinodu said, beside Bakasi, Nigerian military get ranks throughout. Nigerian military get ranks throughout, but for whatever reason, they are not doing very well on the ground. Thank you so much, Mrs. Elizabeth. Wari Zinodu said, Nigerian military get ranks through coup d'etat. Okay. <laughs> Looting, suppressing civilian rights, civilian politics, violating the human rights. Nigeria has never engaged any international neighboring conflict post. Bakasi, thank you so much. Keep your comment coming. What is your take? Abraham says, Yoruba nation, no going back. Definitely, there's no going back. Good evening to you, Mr. 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 Dari Joe, and then also those of you that have joined us on the Instagram tonight. Once again, this is the network called the Star Radio UK, and we appreciate those of you that have joined us so far. So I'm asking the question tonight. As we now have a full profile, is married to Mrs. Maria Abiodun Lagbaja, and the marriage is also blessed with two beautiful children. His hobby is watching documentary and reading biography. That is the profile of your new chief of army staff. What do you think about that? What is your take? I'm going to give you the wrap up of the names of each and every one, but also. Some of the news headline, Bill Gates explained how having a big diaspora can be healthy. What does he mean by that? I don't know. I'll be telling you what Bill Gates is saying. Once again, remember, you can only follow us on the Star Radio UK network so that you can get all the latest updates each time we come live and tell you a little bit more. As we go into the next section of the program in the next few minutes, where we'll be joined by one of the Yoruba Nation campaigner telling us what they are doing 
when it comes to the uh, current uh, farming in Yoruba land. But for now, I promise to Bolatinobu is currently, as we speak right now, in Paris for the finance summit. Expectation in Paris is all now set for the new global financial path that is coming up on the 22nd and the 23rd. The president arrived in Paris yesterday. Today is the end, a high-level meeting by the president, Bolatinobu and Nigeria stand to benefit from the two-day global summit. Even though there's a video, but there's no audio. I don't know, maybe it's NTA. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you so much. And now, okay, uh, there's an explosion in Paris. 16 people are injured. Again, this is another news that is just coming to my network here. Seven people are now in a critical condition. Nine are in a serious condition after an explosion in the fifth abrasment of Paris BFM report. According to the prosecutor, the cause of the explosion has not yet been determined. Eyewitness report is strong smell of gas. According to the mayor's office of the district, the explosion occurred in the building of the place Alphanos Laveran near the design school of America Academy of Paris. Mayor Anna Hidalgo arrived at the scene. A lot of buildings have already been collapsed and we pray for those in that part of the globe. Remember that Bola Tinobu, our president, is currently in Paris as well, and that is another breaking news there. So let's listen to this. So again, this is this military attack. It's an ambush. So many military have died. I can see them in the, in the video right in front of me. No, any military vamblance. Hmm. Well, let's come back to the program. Nigeria is full of so much going on. Let's now discuss a little bit more about what Bill Gates is saying. I'm not too sure. Jackpa, Bill Gates explained how having a big diaspora can be healthy. I am not one who believe that no one should go away or that blocking that completely is healthy thing the philanthropist stressed. Bill Gates has weighed in on, on the recent surge in the number of young Nigerian professionals leaving the country for greener pasture because Nigeria is not working. The Microsoft co-founder addressed the so-called Japa phenom phenomenon on Wednesday today, during an interactive section with innovators on advancing Africa, unleashing the power of the youth in science and innovation held in Lagos. All this is not going to make any difference, Bill Gates. What we are asking for, tell Bolatinobu, the breakup of Nigeria will allow a better innovation, innovative of the Yoruba people as against the Nigeria that is full of so much of identity crisis. It went on for that to say, in sense, people living is a good thing. If you are up the amount of training you are doing, he said, having a big diaspora that includes people coming back into business. Hey, 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 Bill Gates, please, please stop there. Stop there now. Adeshina says, when will our people understand that Nigeria is in a worse situation? Mrs. Elizabeth, I said, let him come and use his wealth of experience for Yoruba Nation. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bill Gates is saying that, um, you know, we should come back and do business when there's no country to come and do the business. Bill Gates thinks that because he has access to travel around with a lot of security, that is the same thing that Nigerians are doing, having the same opportunity. He must be dreaming. According to Bill Gates, in an instant where the government provides subsidized medical education, one almost wishes that a little bit of that resources you get overseas would help the government increase the training. Otherwise, there is a significant shortage in some of those skills he noted. I am not someone who believes that no one should go away or that blocking that completely is healthy thing, the philanthropy stress. 
pointing out that similarities Nigerians share with India and China in the export of talent. He also highlighted the many innovative immigrant doctors had spent some time in the UK and the US as part of their training. This idea that people go away and do great work, but then they come back, if you get that in balance and figure out the education funding piece of that, that is a super healthy thing in computer science, in health, in business, and other areas, Bill Gates said. You say some of our doctors can go get a very high salary in the UK and US. Some of them will pay to their family broadly, and some of them will return. Nobody's returning to Nigeria that doesn't have full security. It's now coming up to five minutes past 7 p.m. Like I said, in the next few minutes, I will be joined by one of the Yoruba nation that are doing very well, trying their best when it comes to the Yoruba nation, when it comes to the also what we can talk about in terms of Agbe, farming. At this junction, it's going to be more, a little bit of the Yoruba for the next half an hour, and then we come back onto the program again where we discuss everything that we need to know when it comes to Yoruba nation. But for now, maybe we should listen to uh, this, and by the time I come back, I will prepare you to join these, our guests that is going to talk to us about Kilon Shenikpa in Kong Agbe. How many people know how to farm? People just say, I want to farm. Move it there, Agbe. But do you understand what it means to be a farmer? Today, I was listening to um, the breakfast show uh, here in the UK, and they were at the cattle market, and the farmers are complaining that uh, you know they are, they are, they are also being affected by the inflation. Uh, the cost of milk is gone up. So let's listen to this, and we come back in a short while. So now, uh, okay, let's take that one more time and then we will now, uh, you know, make our contact on the ground. Let's hear that one more time. Yeah, go ahead and continue. Only a lot of talk. I went to the other way to the Miller, you are not there. 
Brazil, Papa, what Timothy, adios, thank you, Jesus, Sita, that's the Agara Wall Top, Nico Book, Pompile, that's the Dubai Billet, Topic of the Queen, as you can't do, you make your lap up, that's the bag, the Agara Wall Top, the issue, Oko, Paki, okay, what you be, Tibet, Bell, yes, my woe, what you are, one of the Casoto, that you will be the free talk. Ama baba bawa ti woje ikonu a won ti won dari egbe ti amosi eto abo tope ye fun ishe ogbe ni le yoruba iye baba wa ti moti ti ama basoro la ekpe yi ori eto star radio UK na ni ashe wa e ranti kwe mo sole nkon kwe inti wa sofun wa a won world bank wani toma mafi di a party issue, August, hey, 164 million Nigerians at risk of hunger and also famine. Kila ma she si, she di ba ti, yaba jeke bi lu yon paton, la ma to gbe gbe se ni, abi ama gbe gbe se ni si. E kabo, sori e to, ti wang kwe ni na e jav voices, lori e to Star Radio UK, ni nu London, e ni ama je, o jo Wednesday, ti a mo si, hey. Mo money a jo e de ti yoruba o a fiti baba baba ma anron mi lo wo e ani e ni ni Wednesday gege bi e de ti gesi kwe e ni Wednesday 21st of June 2023 a go meje lo lu e o nou si anron le kwete ni bi ili ati ma ashu lo do ti yi lo un e kabo sori e tu baba wa la koko ba wo lo ju a jo sheri lo do yi e ba wa daru kon yi un gogba un ro lu fe wa lo re e to star radio UK ni bi ti a ti nbe to kar kiri bi gogbo yon se le monton lo ni le at any time, lonely day, at any time, lonely you di. Gege bi ati she so asikota wa yi. O mune ni pa in koni bi. Si afisoro ni lori eka bosori ni tu baba wa. Si bubu mo yuba la ma koni bubu agbala. Muki wa ni bubu si etingo umi. Kushelu ade kushelu kwa kuni suwa kuni rewa lashi ah uh, uko ti minu ni timo siu kushu agmeloba timo kwenye mwa si thank you jesus ni wako wadi bae agwa ni ago meje uko ya isheju meji la ale ni muki mwole ba wolo juwa juwa sheri lodo hile ni lati aro titi di waka ti chori kwe lodo ti wa olopa goni downing street timo lole ni oni ate guo pe kupo Oni oru yipo repete, ba oru jo jo sheri lato do ti titi di waka ti. E shi wano kono kono, aa, ni kote wali, ki yi shi wipe, ou mou 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 kupe jube lo nan, o ti, kou mwi, eh, afefe yen nan, kou kou ju, kege ba shi mou wipe, a, a wayi, a kou kou ju ni, a ti wipe, a wani nou, Ati wani ida ki yon dobay, cha ti a man kwenye o shu jyon. Ni, ni a dwebe, ibi ti a wawa, shu. Shu ye, e shi yon kosa. E shi yon baba wa, tori ipe, a ni yon kolo kwa siko, ta man fi ba yin soro, inta de fi ba yin so, opo re kwe te, di tori ipe, mwon won ti, a won, World Bank, e gbe ti won kwe ni World Bank, to man ya won yon lo wo, won son kokon, ti mo fi wani ah, Inye awa Nigeria, fe ati waja awa mo yo bata wa ni nwe. Tan peto fwe ya fe daduro, gege bi ile urmi ni rati wa. La koko, oruko woni egbe tan soy ati pe, iru egbe wole le yi. Fururi chiri che egbe lo wa, ti wama anda si le. Bot inti anri ni pe, ele eni kan she pe lun kan ti a maso pe, in kan igbe. Eba wa non ni be, Tung bubwa ngon yon, tung bubwa wa, ni le, ati ni bubwa gba ye, lori e to Star Radio UK London.
to the best man, she saw the one way. I think we are, and I do what to the big way. If I say, I want your body, see it to you, to my dinner, to my talent. I want your body, you pay, leave bullet, believe, see, my relationship. I mean, you know, love, 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 Once again, uh, Eto Star Radio UK ni awa. Nikbati, Androki, Monomono pada lato do, babawa. Oti pada de, egbo unso ke, babawa. E shala yi lofunwa, e je ki agbo ala yi e die, le kunrere. This is Star Radio UK. E she wopo, gende bi mo she. Lori yon e bo, ori ri shi a wong kan wong yi, lo te yi shele, to je bi Si fun gbogbo eyin eyan wa ti e ngbo wa ti e nwo wa ago meje lo se fi lo lu lori eto ti a mo si eh eto ti wa ni bi ta n pe ni lenkan si this is star radio uk this is star radio uk this is star radio uk baba wa ti mo ti ni an ba soro lowo lowo mo so le nkan mo ni awon world bank egbe ton pe ni world bank won ni to ma fi di august 64 million nigerians are at risk of falling into food crisis in the coming month according to a new world bank report the bank reported in an article to jade leni ni agbaye only the bank reported that from 9.7 million in any 2019 oti guke si 42.5 million ni 2023 the numbers of individuals experiencing food insecurity in the west africa omati kosi kodrot in the last four years baba wa en so won eto kan lo iti mo fe mo ni pe nje awon ti won ni afe se nkan agbe afe ma gbe nkan amo gbogbo awon inti a ni to poju ni be ni pe awon ko ani ani le awon ko ani awon fulani n daran wa sibe nje a le so pe ta ba fe ma se nkan igbe nje o ni security to ye ke to le protect awon to fe ma se at awon to ba wo pe boya awon na le se ninu e ni kekere ni abinla nitori pe opolopo lo ni ta ba soko awon malu ma wo be won a joko lo re pete ki le ma ba so si e oda i think e je ka fi asiko di segbot egbola ti mo so le nkan tori pe mo da pe na e lo mo na mo na die 
Oh, oh yeah, about guns, okay. Ah, Sherry, Lori, I'm not security, ma. I'm not bad, dear me. Ah, Sherry, get the machine so. Eh, if I put today, Lori, it will open. Let me know, ma. We go and walk to my friend, ya ko. She want to see him. We can go and meet him. Eh, they can make me pay. Eh, come on, ya ko ya. I'm not going to go and watch the movie. Come on, me pay me for you. Eh, twenty one, let me pay. We go and walk out there. Eh, she go. Eh, she go ni. Iti moto wa fe bere ni pe ani a fe ma gbe nkan se fun jije fun ra wa na ni abi ite tu mama ta nitori pe awon te bi ba sa npa lo ma koko jeun ati pe ele te n se yi se awa o yinba ni se large scale ni abi small scale se pilot scheme ni pilot scheme yen mi pe se nkan te ko se try wo boyo ma bo si ko ni bo si to ba de re bo si koluka luku ma tesi waju Once again, for those of you, we will do a summary of the discussion. We are discussing around farming in Yoruba land, where a new group within the Yoruba self-determination movement have decided to take the bull by the arm without waiting for anybody. With the little resources that they have, promoting what we call the Yoruba pit of farming, where we are speaking to one of the director of that particular group known as Mr. Timothy. Mr. Timothy is discussing everything around farming. Farming then so yi baba wa as a as a as a farming then so re yi se agbado ni se tun sin ran nu e abi nkan to je crops ta le so pe crops se animal wa nu e abi crops ni kan jo e daruko agbado le nkan ati bi apaki e ba wa sara e die pa won yan wa to ngbo wa agbado ma nse nigbati a ba gbin ton ni bo la le lo si ona o la le lo tori mo mo daju pe opolopo wa ni lo yinbo a feran ogi amo nkan kan lo fi nse bo ni a fe ke yin so fun wa nigbati e ba wa se nkan ta te gbin awon agbado ya ti paki ki le fi nse gan se en lo be ni abi bawo e sala fun wa 
len kan si baba wa kan bere pe se awon ba na gbo ni ase oro to wa nle yi lati intervene nitori pe ebi o gbodo pamo yoruba ke to da won bere yen e je ka tu pada sin ti world bank so world bank said and i quote 107.5 million people are considered to be at risk of falling into food crisis in the event of shock from June to the August hour 2023, particularly in Nigeria, 64 million. About the by the 64 million, yes, it will go to Yoruba. No, hey, hey, it be a map. I know, kill and fee and one bad do. I take back his she. I take pay. It be a melo ni one mafin wu. Chori a mokwa bad do. It be a right. Oda ang pay o shu meri meri a do shu meta. Eba wa noni be baba wa Timothy. around the world we are speaking to uh one of the yoruba nation uh campaigner and also those that decided not to wait before a country happened doing their own little bit called ito Ishe to 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 bini eh expertise ori shiri shi la won yan ma nbere fun ko nse owo na ni gogo e amo iru expertise wo le yin fe ta won yan le training bi a ko yin sinu zoom ni ta sala yin kan meji fun yin tori pe ni loyin bo a ma npe nkan ni health and safety gogo nkan de lo ni training koda ilu imo ti mo pe yan lo se training ni eh mo pade sister wa kan la aro e nigba ta jo pade ni bus stop mo ni e lo bi se nu ni n n ise o sile ni an lo training ni I want to share the new healthcare. In general, not think think of that. But yeah, I want to just want it. I don't want to want to leave. To repay our money, or for lack of training, or for the way, we got to buy that guru. It will buy that. I think we are on the low end. We are not fair. We are on the euro bar. So let's see from here. See what we feel on the low end. Get get be. I want to see some way. A B on the power side. I want A B on the power of euro bar. A good one to keep about. Ele, 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 ele,
in one minute to repay at the low wakati uh at the low daji wakati liberty at the eto bain soro at my way one in your me ever shall i fungo bo a hong tong bawa uh in tea a face in one minute kato malo a shigoni babawa timothy ah moki bo bo ale kasi bo bo mo yoba liberty eba ting bo mini bo bo agbala ye kwe aku she kaputakun adeku ishe ilu koni suwa koni re wawo eto mwen kwa para wwe to a gwe ni ilè yon ba ou la gwe wa lo ni e jo e pa afu wosu wako kale ishi a shiori lori eto yi te wade e ting bagbo kwe a shiori a ti a shi ege o ti wa lori eto nan lè kasi ou kwa mini ti mo ti wu adi o shwa gwe lo ba ti mo gwe yon mo si thank you jesus e shi moto kwe thank you so much ah anri ji ben lolo do wan atu ma gwe wan wani jo mi one funny book bo a into cool but about our at f joko tia baba bo thank you so much once again there is the breaking news like i said uh you know in france where there is a current uh you know explosion uh rebels two people are still missing uh we will be monitoring that but there will also be a continuation of where and how we were discussing the chief of staff and all the necessary security also we know that there is no way we can continue to believe that 
a country will run without a proper security, whether in farming, in whatever sector, we need to understand that we need a robust farming, we need a robust security, we need a robust intelligent gathering as well. But like I said, we hope that uh, you know the new government and the state governors will be doing everything to support the initiative of as many people, especially in the Yoruba land, that are interested you know, in farming and other area as well. Let's come back again to this government. There is going to be increase in their salary. Are you aware of that? At eight o'clock, we go back again to more discussion about Yoruba nation between Bola Tinobu, the Oracle, Professor Adebanji Akintoye, all those discussion, don't touch the dial, sit back at exactly 8 p.m. I'll be going back again to the conversation about Yoruba nation, the Biafra nation, and those that are agitating. What will be the situation between Bola Tinobu and those that are asking for their right to self-determination? I'll be discussing all these issues. The NLC, there's not yet any headway. Are we going to see the government of Nigeria bringing what we can say a reality that we cannot live in denial? Yes, the subsidy is a good thing to be removed, but what are the plans to make Nigerians not to suffer? Because already Nigeria is so far. I know Joko. Nigerians are suffering. Forget about the social media lies on Instagram, on Twitter. Nigerians are really, really suffering. And they are suffering because the country did not prepare for today. Yes, we don't expect to have subsidy paid for people that are not Nigerians. As the current president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, said, that I can't, I will not pay for subsidy to countries that are outside Nigeria. Definitely is a good initiative. But the problem is, how is he going to make sure that Nigerians do not suffer as much as we are already witnessing? Let me remind us that it is the responsibility of every government to protect Nigerians, especially Nigerians that want to survive. Yes, those of us that do not believe in Nigeria, we are not the only one. Let's listen to these. He was pained. Maybe he wanted to be the Senate president, but he was not given that opportunity. I come back, let's listen to this. I went through and this is OG Carlo in life in this Senate. And also went through one of my difficult periods. Also, in this Senate, before I came to the Senate, before I came into politics, I can buy anything but I can buy. I'm not a thief. Those that put me in prison know the reason they put me in prison. They took over all my businesses and want to kill me. But I survived it. I'm in the Senate with you people. It's not the end to what we have done. It's not the end to United Nigeria. It's not the end to Brothers Keeper. But this is the cause I called. We are with me. I never lacked. When the PDP that I was governor for 2000 was being formed, I brought every money they used in forming that party. Every penny in 1997 and 98. And I later became a thief. And people I gave transport money from my house in VI, VI became angels. This is what Nigeria represents. I want to thank my colleagues for giving me these four years 
of what is there of them supports because this country is not fair to so many of us Is it when the senator is not getting what he needs, he realizes that Nigeria is not fair? Hmm. Senator Oji Kalu is saying the country is not fair. Let's listen to the last bit. This country, I employed 13,800 workers. People employed not nobody. And nobody asked them their source of wealth. I have three factories in Lagos, Nigeria. I have two factories in Nota. Build manufacturing. I have three factories in Aba, manufacturing, and I'm a thief. And people that cannot explain where their source of wealth comes from, they are not thieves. I leave everything in the hands of God. Well, God he leaves everything in the hands of God. Uh, according to him, the Nigerians have been suffering, but some of these senators care less because they are not suffering. But the news coming out says that the federal government of Nigeria under the new president, Bola Ahmed Tinobu, monthly salary to be 8.1 million naira. The vice president, the lawmakers, the judiciary officers get 114% salary bond. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter. Thank you so much, Mr. Suraju Omawumi. Mr. Peter said, correct, brother. The suffering is of highest order. I know that because I have family in Nigeria as well. Hmm. This problem is not ending. No. What are we going to do as Nigerians continue to suffer for the negligence of a failed government that refused to invest in Nigeria? to build those infrastructure, to support our farmers, to support innovation, to support everyone that wants to do something. And today, we don't have any more money because money that should have been used for those infrastructure have been squandered. There's been corruption. So many projects that end up to be lies upon lies upon lies. And today, Nigerians are the one facing the brunt of all these. What is Bola Tinubu going to do that will be different? Yes, the subsidy was right to be removed. But now that this government is also increasing its salary, is this the best time for Bola Tinubu to be increasing the salary to almost 114%? The chairman said the commission reviewed the remuneration package in the report based on the subjective and objective criteria. The Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission has adjusted the remuneration of President Bola Tinobu, the Vice President Kashim Shetima, and other political and judicial office order by 114%. Is it right? But now that the government of Bola Tinobu to be increasing salary, when many Nigerians cannot even get the basic salary, Tinobu will now earn 8 million naira every month, a 114% increase from the former president, Muhammad Buhari, that was receiving 3 million, 3.5 million. Why is Tinobu adding 5 million to his own salary? Rahim Abbas, thank you so much. Austin says he's crying. I don't know why he's crying. Sorry. Thank you so much to those of you that are still with us, and especially those of you that are listening to us on all the network. My name again is Ola Mikoiki. Adeni Oluwa Damilari on the East, on the Mixer Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. Comrade Plan B say Yoruba Nation is the only way forward. Do you think that it is right that Bola Tinubu should increase his salary from 3.5 million that Buhari was receiving to 5 million. Is it the right time? Nigeria has started to happen to so many Nigerians. Like I said, there was so much killings happening almost every day. And the one that I received today happened right inside Issei in Yoruba land. And this is the audio that we received. <laughs> 
So to translate that, the the thank you so much, Omobolaji uh, Abdullahi. Yoruba Nation is the only way. Like I said, in 12 minutes, we'll go back again to the Yoruba Nation conversation. Mr. Clement said the suffering and smiling will increase. Break up the zoo is the only solution. Thank you so much, Mr. Clement, for your support, love, and words of encouragement. Asha Atishe Yoruba, Ekabo Sorieto Star Radio UK. Adupelo Woyin, Mung Bogu Banalysis, in but networking on Jen Badu and Dada, so Mung Malat Lot Tuo, in Jolipe, our analysis, then Bija Dinye, who are very, very important. Moki Babawa, Olu Adedeji, Moki Agnawa, Ijaya, Ijaya, Moki Agbomi, Patapata, Tiawa, Nile, Ati Tiawa, Lenny Odi, respect to your great effort. By our mother, YMC Olani Eshegoni. Waris Jinodu says, Yoruba Soji, we cannot be eating petrol and Nera, petrol dollar for cassava, yam, and abado. Again, 64 million Nigerians will go into hunger. Moriyawa, Rukayat, Omaumi, Mukiyawa, Abiba, Mukiyawa, Bemileke, Mukibubai, grandmothers, Grandma Grace, Senior JP, Mukibubai, GR1, Alaji, Alabi, Mukibubai, Lenkonsi. Moki ato bimilomo, oni ekabo sorieto, lori eto star radio UK. Motiki, ah mama wato shalai si, niba kabere eto yi, ani kiolo un ko te on safe pere. Inye yadada ti amo, ni nu egbe ti onche egbe da dani le London, koto dipe olojo de alaja shwaga. Kolo onbele du mari, kofori jin, kote yi safe pere. Bogba on interfisile to mi ati tiko mi. Kolon oba kushikini koba wada wobo. Moki e Martins. I want to koiki media niye. Martins Luther King Media TV. Moki le kiti. Moki baba le kiti. Moki Martins. Mo ma ki bube yomo yoruba. Moki bube yinti embe ni oke oku non. Eje katu bo shikini ka fo kombale. In 10 minutes. Atu ma kpada sori conversation lo ri yoruba nation. But for now, let's use the remaining 10 minutes. Bola Tinubu has increased his salary. I don't know whether it's the right thing to do at this particular time. Let me look at what is trending on the social media. Like I said, a terrible news is still happening. Uh, what, well, Tim Mobiti, the Titanic, uh, no, the Titan. That one is called the Titan. It's a submarine. Uh, let me explain what it means. It's a small submarine that can dive under the ocean bed of where the wreckage of the Titanic is about 12,000 500 feet. That is where the Titanic is. The wreckage of the Titanic. People pay 67,000 pounds for this trip. But they are aware the danger as well. But what we are hoping and praying for that as many of those that are working around the clock to find this Titan, it will survive. Good evening. Thank you so much. A building judge. Shout out to all those that are working tirelessly back in Nigeria whether in the media sector, in whatever sector you are, we understand Nigeria is a very difficult place. Uh, you know, congratulations in advance to those Muslims that will be celebrating, you know, the, you know, the Eid that is coming very soon. And we hope many people will still be able to kill Ram because of Olopo Ramo, you know, very terrible situation happening in Nigeria as we speak, especially as of today. Today, again, the Naira is 8 985 Naira. Hey, we are not yet in December and the Naira is pound sterling to Naira is 985 Naira to one pound. Hey, oh my Lord. Things are becoming difficult in Nigeria. I don't know if Bola Tinubu will be able to get as many loan or money. I don't know how it's going to fix the problem, but it needs to do something to save Nigeria from going into the ditch. Um, I want to go back into some of the headline because by the time we focus back, like I said, uh, there's a lot happening. Uh, the Titan is a small submarine. So I'm going to explain what it means. It's a small submarine that is owned by, uh, you know, someone. You have to pay 66,000 pounds to be able to go on that trip for 10 days. It's a 10 day trip. The Titan went under the water and within one hour, you know, no communication back since Sunday. Today is now Wednesday. They have 96 hours oxygen they can use to survive. It's a very, very small, you know, submarine. 
uh, it doesn't have a seat. I'm going to show you, you know, the image, you know, the engineers are trying to get us the image so that you can have an idea, you know, people are cramped. You know, they have to stretch their leg one at a time. You cannot stretch your leg. They cannot open it. The question is, how do they even bring it, bring it back up, even after the finding? As of today, there is a, you know, sound picked up by the Canadian aircraft that they still live. So this is the image, what it looks like. So imagine five people are inside there, 12,000 below the water. And as we speak right now, there is still no news about exact location. But they are sound every 30 minutes. Here are the sound, and let's see if we can get you the sound. So there's a sound coming out from these, you know, little uh, submarine. So it's like a submarine. But what is happening now is, they are doing everything possibly best to get these uh you know location they are sending everything everything is now you know moving towards us because they are now against time and the sound coming out is sound like this this is how the sound is coming out so this sound is a sos message hmm. Let's say it again. So this is an SOS message that they are now in distress. So let's get the, the video at the background quickly, the engineers working on that. You can hear the waves of the water. I built we lower 12,000 feet below. That's like 12 story building deep down. <laughs> it's not easy. We hope they are found as quickly as possible. So, let's leave that and come back again to the Star Radio UK. We're just giving you all the news happening around the world as well. It's a news that is traveling, but there's also a lot of news happening in Nigeria that the international media do not pick, and we are not sure why, because Nigeria is going through a lot as well. Uh, in four minutes, we're going to be switching back again to... Thank you so much, uh, my sister... My big, big auntie, uh, Bimi Leke, I've talked about you before you came in. Tony Ages, thank you so much. Uh, appreciation to everyone. Uh, our mother say, but Remi Tinubu said, they're rich and they don't need Nigerian money. So why is Bola Tinubu's salary going from, from 3.5 million, uh, you know, a salary to 5 million? No, it's not even 5 million. It's 8 million. It's going from 3.5 million to 8.5 million. That is what is going up to now. So they've increased this, you know, the, their salary. Buari was earning 3.5 million every month, but Bola Tinubu now is earning 8.5 million. That's 114 percent more. Hmm. The big problem. So, as we speak right now, we are still monitoring the situation with the sub that has gone missing. Since Sunday, they've been they've been looking for it since Sunday. It's meant to be going for just an hour, forty five minutes trip, but after it went down on Sunday, the last picture, and they lost the communication. So as we speak right now, there is still no any communication from these, uh, you know, sub massable that have traveled twelve thousand feet below the water. We pray. Uh, addition of Bishop, pound sterling is going to be 1,200 Naira. The US dollar is going to be 1,000 Naira latest by July, not August. It's too long for the Nigerian economy to collapse. Bola Tinobu needs every money as we speak right now. But where he's going to get that money is what I don't know. Because as we speak right now, Bola Tinobu is struggling 
to find money. That is why he has traveled down to Paris for the summit. But there's not a very good news coming from Paris as there's an explosion. Two people are still under the rubble while also there is life that is now in danger. So we pray for the peace of the world. There's a lot going on as well around the world. There's just too much going on. Uh, this is still the Star Radio UK. Dennis Otto, thank you so much. Temidayo Dennis Omito Gun, thank you so much. This is a Yoruba nation is punching above its weight in the area of modern human capital and international community. Know that we are serious about the Yoruba nation self-determination. Keke Okus on the Instagram, thank you so much. Uh, it is sad. It is so. It is sad to know bad country has become. Yeah, it is very sad, Austin. You know, we cry every day for our people. There's no amount of money I can send to my loved ones. It's still not going to help because the cost of living is high. Many Nigerians cannot even live in a house. People are being thrown out of the little house that they are because they can't pay the rent. The problem is just too much. The problem of Nigeria is just too much. And the question is, what do we do? You know, is this the way we want to live our life as Nigerians? Are we going to live in denial? What more can be done to save Nigeria if not a proper dissolution? You might disagree with us, uh, but in time, it will become something that a lot of people will talk about. Only innovative say, no matter what, Nigeria can never work. Official T-Boy, thank you so much. Gapsin. Thank you so much, Mr. JJ Abayo Mimokiyi, and the rest of you that have joined us as well. Shout out to all our fathers, Olatunji, Owonikoko, Benny, Owonikoko. Without money, we're going nowhere. Uh, as we continue to monitor the news around the world, let's now come back again to the conversation. Inam de Kano, Igbowo, Polatinobu, what is your take on it? We've been hearing a lot of people coming out on Igbowo and also Inam Dekano. But what do you think is going to happen to these two individuals with the space of situation with the government? Uh, our mother, Olani, say, Koiki Tinubu has finished Nigeria. I said it. Citizen will smell their bottom. <laughs> wow. To smell your bottom is going to be a tough task. I pray that Nigerians will understand why some of us are saying this country, this country called Nigeria, is not working. I understand Tinubu has an ambition, and anybody can have ambition, but that ambition is not going to change the narrative on the ground. And as I always say, Tinubu is not a Yoruba president, even though I've been reading a lot of people that are posting, and I'm going to give you the breakdown, that they are so excited. And if you look at the topic we're discussing today on the Star Radio UK Network, four years, all the service chiefs will be changed again by another government. And this goes on and on and on. Is this the Nigeria that we want? That every four years or every eight years, a new government comes in and change the narrative. And I'll be telling you a little bit more about what I've picked up as many Nigerians that are Yoruba are sending to me. I'll be telling you more. But for now, it is still the Star Radio UK network. And that is the difference of why Babakitoye is different. Babakitoye does not want a four, four years, eight, eight years of chief of staff being changed around. Once again, I appreciate my producer, Mr. Frank David, Mr. Archie, and the rest of the team, the sound engineer that are working very hard. We pray once again for those that are stuck in that submap. But we are not talking about that alone. Inam Dekano has been held in the DSS custody for the last two years. He was kidnapped. He was renditioned back to Nigeria. That is an illegal way to bring somebody back to a country, even if he was doing something that the government was not happy. So, she Inam Dekano, she Tinobu Ma, resolve a problem here, Abi Oma Overlooke. The next 20 minutes, Lori, a to Yoruba nation, Biafra nation, ati I want to put on very fun, a tongue, gagabi, in tea, 
gbogbo agbaye so pe ani eto lati bere fun kan ti a ba fe amose eto yen se bola tinubu ma koko se eto na nitori pe ijoba bola ahmed tinubu to wa lori oye lowo lowo nisin ijoba to so fun wa pe behun se de yi o ma gboran amo awa mo boya igboran to se pelu asari dokubo lo ni ki asari dokubo ma gbe bon sita ni osan gangan to treatin awon biafra de bi po so pe ohun o ba ma ta won ti ko ba se pe bi nkan se ri lowo lowo le kan si ori eto ti awa lo n pe ni Radio UK. This is Star Radio UK. Mama ki baba wa ti wo dara po mo wa le nkan akiyin aki gbogbo awon ti ejo nse eto abo to pe ye fun ise ogbe. And I remember I didn't even play that while he was there with us, but I'll play that before we go. Ise agbe ni ise ile wa. Tomorrow is the property hour and join us tomorrow again uh for the uh, other presenter but for me I still have the next 26 minutes. Ti a fin gbe eto yewo. A ma wo 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 paper ti o jade ni Nigeria. But that is going to come towards the end of the program. But we are discussing the Yoruba people. Let me look at somebody send this to me. And that again means that so many Yoruba people believe that Bola Tinobu is on the right course. But Ibere mini kwe she Bola Tinobu ma fi inam de kanu sile. Ati pe kilo ma she lori oro baba wa oloye sunday gbowo awon kon bebe won ni gbowo pe ki bola tinubu dariji ibere ta nbi won ni pe ese wo ni gbowo se ti bola tinubu se ma dariji nitori pe a mo gege bi pe bola tinubu na sa kuro ninu nigeria nigbati na deko to wa to je pe ohun alara on to je to se na deko ni lo yin bo ni bi ba ti mo wa he ran out of nigeria in 1990 uh, after the whole election that failed, uh, he was in London on exile. He bata bata aku luna para sile. He no dey rokwe wa ba bebe. He bata para sile. I want the badura iku fun bola tinubu, but I want to niki bola tinubu ko jo ko foriji go wo ki go ole para wasi Nigeria. He bare konte mi ko bare ni pe eche wo gani go wo she eche wo ni eche wo ni baba. Biafra she ti amosi mazi inam de kanu ti e fun laye ni tori pe inam de kanu ti amo wo ji wa lati ibi ti won pe ni Kenya ni ko se pe ijoba Nigeria law true normal legal process you can't kidnap somebody in 2023 it doesn't work and it is not going to work it will just create more problems and more problems and this is the reason why we are saying again we must continue to speak up. In 1990, one in one pound was 14 naira 50 kobo. Kilowa shele. Tiko ban shekwe, things have changed. Mama ki ya wai kabo, sorry to comfort, olo gunja. Bogo bala man ki yi. Baba wa olu tobi, olu shesi. Eh, da sorry to, ila le yi, kilo shele. Am bere, bere to po rek pete. Kini i dowo she. Ano koni, awa lanti i dowo. What daru komi? Oni koiki i wo gongo lo nti igbo wo. E mi wan bere kwe, she igbo wo in ton bere fun, o unan koni Abraham Lincoln bere fun, to fi di kwe Amerika, so kwe anwo ni ma akta e rumo. Ki ni Mandela bere fun, ma jo lo Mandela, ma jo lo Mandela. Ki ni baba ki to ye, on bere lo wati nubu kwe, on mo wani ye, a puro wala doje, lo ti to, Amo Nigeria ise ko le work mwa bo adupe. Len konsi ba ya ni please ko iki remind people to send letter to ICC just to remind them about Sunday at the Yemos case about his house that was destroyed. Over 20 billion naira has not yet been paid by the Fulani Kaba of the former AGF, Attorney General of the Federation Malami. I think I need to manage the new AGF because whoever becomes the new AGF will have to deal with the Biafra, the Yoruba, Inam the Kanu, and the Ayozaki Zaki. Because the AGF, Tonkweni, Attorney General of the Federation, is in charge of every legal aspect between the citizen, the international community, and the federal government. 
Malami was a very biased Fulani man that wanted to make sure that he killed Inam De Kanu and also killed Sunday Gowo with Buhari. Mr. Peter Oluafumini, Baba Migowo did not commit any offense. Asking for self-determination is not an offense at all. Moki Wogwale and Konsi, eto iti nkwasi ikale die die amo ashini 20 minutes. I want on sokwe igbowo she into oda konforiji, ibere ni kwe kilo she tiko da ni nukwe oni wong pa wong enyo wong bi ati shen soro leni 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 ni mong soyi video yon shen ta le fin wong ni chori kwe wong shara kwa ni nong okwa lop wong yati ba video yon pa de lo ti to okwa lop wong mong yoro ba wong ni nong a wong ti bola ti nong bu fi je chief of staff e ye ka fong yini breakdown yele nkon si mo ki producer mi frank david ati achi mo de ki bo ba wong yon e to ti a jong she suraju omo wong mi mo ki da da Mo ki bo gwa yon mo yoro ba, a si kote yon bo la wa la wa yi, a wong ilanon omo o duwa, a wong ni wong she e tuwe. Lak bara ili du mare, ilanon Kanada mo ki yin da da, e ku pa le mo, ti jyo sato de, ti e ma tu ba wa soro, ni town hall meeting. Oh! Lan kon si, mo ki bo gwa, i di ti asen sokwe a fe yoro ba nation, ko jupe, in ti ambere pun, Oh, ni pe ki bo bo mo yoro ba. E ma son wè mo mi mi. Mo mo kwe ma sen do wè yè si mi. E yi lè ni ki ma look good. Mo ni ko yi ki yon looking very good. Mo da bi yon mo ke ke re to shè bi yon mo jo jo lo. Jo jo lo. O mo jo jo lo to shè bi. Mo ni thanks Mr. Ko yi ki. You are looking cool. Be ni. Mo ki wo gwa lè an kon si. Mo ki yato bi mi lò mo. Moki omode, moki agba lagba. This is Star Radio UK. Moki yami, a boss a day, ile, ile gbigbe, ni, ole, 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 ten gbe, eh, yoruba, e, po, jumo, mi, e, baba, koni, yo, e, baba, koni, mo, mo, kwe, de, yoruba, ni, mo, so, a, ti, kan, e, man, le, di, e, di, e, moki, baba, me, le, an, kon, si, a, bio, don, george, kon, ni, ba, je, fon, yi, moki, bo, kwe, yi, a, ba, le, yoruba, e, ma, wo, no, ba, yi, e, ma, da, ke, Baba wa o ni o fi fe, o jaja de sekan. Mo ki bo gori a de mo ko fe. Abi, ten do ba le fon yi. Lo ti to, inu a mo yoro ba andu, lopo lopo. Inu a madun kale ni. Inti po la tinu pun she, inti o goro she nan ni. Che bi bu a rito wa ni be, a won ti e lo komora. E je katu da lo ko bu ba won ti, wa fun a ni break down. Bi, tinu bu she mu, a won to mu wale ni si. Ara koni to fele ranja si miso kwe congrat to Oduduwa Nation. Tinubu is doing well. Ok. Chief of Army Staff, Yoruba. Inspector General of Police, Yoruba. CG Custom, Controller General Custom, Yoruba. Acting CBN, Central Bank of Nigeria Governor, Yoruba. Guard Brigade Commander, Yoruba. Chief of Staff, Yoruba. Communication and Strategy, Yoruba. Special Advice on Monetary and Services, Yoruba. Eja kakbe, ikwe tomboy, a mo bi ofe bawa da sori eto, ni ori star radio. Hello, kola, yawa. Chefe bawa da sori eto, lale ini. Mo fe ba isi, mo fe da seto ni. Koda, ek bons, ok, yala lu barika. Koni ba, je fun yi. Eti wa lori eto star radio. Ba baki to e nan lo ni ka ma ek basi ko yi wa an bo yi ma. Oru ko te mi ni bo lan le ka ba ki me la ki uwe. An bo yi ma. Eh, mo kwa ko ko e to, ti ta ki ba bo la te ko. E se bo ni ma. Eh, mo te ki ko e to a wo yi e to, te te ki pa president ki wa ki wo mbo kodari ki baba wa e ko wo. A wa to, all wo la just want to me. Te ri ba wo e nyon wa che wo mbo kodara la. Even in the U.S., in Bibi, and to the, the president to, to Donald Trump, but look all the atrocities he committed. Why should he sue us? He got to kill us all. Us all for what? Should they know? No. The one where 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 Baba was on the go 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 at the jibe. Oh, she 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 won't need she won't need any issue. You might don't know about 
Shegoni, Eba office in the comment section, and it ain't bower, so bad deal set on ball. Like Barry Little Mary, if it are focus the conversation was in here, Kilo Boro Shelley, Siba Bower, Oloye, Doctor Sunday Boo, a water con image to a lany me, what be a mocale, one knee ya woo, that is in sorrow, lower lower, need you life first, don't boy ye, oh my queer do me ye, Monk way Baba Laro, Mombasi as I, my Baba me, oh my queer do me ye. Like bay, at one name in it twenty one. Tabaka twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. Lenny or John Mewa Lenny. Ah, I'm a mamma so pretty queer do me gee. See, a job of worry to wallet to pay pa, oh loye, doctor Sunday, a day more, see, I must see, Sunday go. I'm a more you about to answer Sunday simply. I want lash in tea go. La, the Jackie, a job of ko le para si nigeria e gbo so ke a e n ton po wa e ka bo sori eto star radio uk e e ka le sa e to tori olohun ki bo mo lo baba ti to yi won so won ni ni spirit of malabo o ti bi de malabo won lo ti marabo marabo spirit spirit of our marabo awon fulani
I am having a I'm going to Benny. Okay. Lori Star Radio UK. Focus wa ma so fun tinubu pe koko ba wa fi awon oku mejeji to ba de je pe won ti sin won e je ka mo bi ti orisun won wa ka won yawo won o le remove won pada wa si ibi to ma te won lorun so ni next week campaign wa ma wa lori program ti next week it will be on the dead bodies of our late fathers uncle brother ibi ta ma mu eto wa ni next week ni e Lagware like do marry. Campaign and my bed no. Lori sister broadcast wa book bo bita mama soro li lori. O wunikwe a feo kuwa do gon a ti a fa a feo ku meje jipada. Boba de kwe wati si wani kodja kamon. Toba de kwe wati si wani no mashari no lobi wan sito ma kwadu meji. Ka be se le do mari a godo mo. Yeni ama she campaign li lori. Inye le miro kwe ya kamon yama koko soro li lori. A mo a soro lori yen. Eni ki tinu fori ji igbowo ki la ma ti pe awon ti wo pe lo ti ai ti ri oku how can two dead bodies be removed and as we speak today the federal government of nigeria refuse to say anything but adupe fun awon ti won so fun wa pe e se gan ni yawa comfort mommy wa olani se pe oloye should never apologize to anyone does he Offend anyone? Only bad we say it should be begging. In ti bubu yon so le nu jome tay o wunye. Biche so ele ni wafi non share si mi e ma binu kwe an kalole nkon koto di kwe e ikwe kon wole. We are ten minutes to the end of the program on the Star Radio UK Network. Thank you so much to each and every one of you that have joined us as usual. Oda kwe ikwe kon na tumbo e di atu lo gbo ikwe yen le nu baba wa ti won pe e gbo soke alagba lori eto star radio uk e ba se ni kia kia tori asete e e pe ku eto ni an ti Thank you so much. Eripe, in time of your band, Sonipe, Baba, Oloye, Doctor Sunday, Bobo, T. Ijoba, Nigeria, Pa, in your majesty, no lay. Eh, we are about what lay, eh, if only I be a mo. Ah, Mama Kiawa, Toby, Baba, Oloye, Sunday, Bobo, Colon, by Ledu Marie, Coban, Lore, me, Dada, Kia, Quefua, by Yami Comfort, Olobunjani, if the world hold no one apology. Yawa Elizabeth ni Yoruba nation ma duro la she ele du mari mo ma ki gbogbo yin o ti e nba wa da si this is okay 1 2 3 it is important that we recover the cops is of adogun and afa awon yo te soro yen mo eh awon mo Yoruba a soro nipa oku mejeji mo bo mo so fun yin pe awa ma highlight e lori ti sister broadcast wa ati lori star radio next week topic will be we want the bodies of the two innocent lives. Bobo Shele, Nima narrate, ni it to Tomawaye, Lagbare Dumari. 
ni next week lori ti star radio uk amo oku iseju meje pere ti a ma fi pare eto yi mo ke nti e wa lori mix lr gbogbo en ti en gbo wa kaakiri gbogbo agbaye ni gbogbo oba fun wahala ta yin na nse tori pe ta wa se nse wahala le yin na kokun se wahala gbogbo anajo nse wahala ise kan yi si eni to ngbo na wahala ni eni to so wahala na ni amo adupe fun obeledumare mo tu fi asiko ile nkan si mo tu fi ki gbogbo yin musulumi be aku pale modun abawa laye gbogbo yin ti christian na mo ki yin pe aku gbogbo lent ati awe ta ngba lotun lo si adura asele wa lori mo wa lo sodo gbogbo yin onisese abaye bi a se celebrate fade no la celebrate this e ile yoruba ogun oni ja wa o amo amo yoruba ndunu re pete lati ijo monday ti bola ahmed tinubu iyen president bola ahmed tinubu iyen olori gbogbo ti le nigeria to nbe ni lu paris lowo lowo egbon nkan ti yan kan fi ranje si mi congrats to oduduwa nation tinubu is doing well chief of army staff yoruba inspector general police yoruba controller general custom yoruba acting cbn Central Bank of Nigerian Governor Yoruba, Guard Brigade Commander Yoruba, Chief of Staff Yoruba, Special Advisor on Special Duties, Communications and Strategy Yoruba, Special Advisor on Monetary Policy Yoruba, Director of Information at the State House Yoruba, Special Advisor Energy Yoruba, Acting Controller General Nigerian Coronation Services appointed was by buari in may and predated tinubu yoruba commander brigade of guard yoruba seven guard battalion asokoro abuja yoruba 176 guard battalion guala guagualada abuja yoruba second in command state house artillery yoruba commanding officer state house eminent yoruba Senior Special Assistant, National Assembly Matters of Reps, Yoruba. Be what is a financial semi, a conuna won't tell you a no, Lonnie Koiki, I won't really a Lancosi Mudupella war, Buboyi, Lot Lossi, Mudupella war, Yoruba, Mudupella war, Omode, Mudupella war, Agbalagba, Mudupella war, Bobo, I won't see, won't tell Lenia Joe, Yoruba Nation. Yoruba Nation is a movement, and a movement would have every reason that we continue. Saturday in Glasgow, Scotland, precisely, there will be a big outing of the Scottish people demanding, asking for one thing and one thing alone. They are asking for the right to self determination. It's an inalienable right, and we hope that Bola Ahmed Tinobu. The current president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria would at some point in his administration have a dialogue, a discussion with those that are agitating under the right of the United Nations, the African Union. We understand that the Nigerian law do not have what I call the referendum as we speak right now. But I can tell you, like I explained in one of our broadcasts, East Timor were able to have an right to the same referendum when government changed over. It took that president of that time less than 600 days to bring peace to a country that has encountered a lot in three decades. Bola Tinobu can bring that unity among all the indigenous people. He can do it if he has the will, if he has the determination, if he has the ambition that is just away from the political terrain. If he doesn't do it in the next four years, he would then have to come back again for another campaign of re-election. If he gets re-elected, he will have another four years. If he then complete that four years, making eight years, and yet is not able to complete these, what we called the dissolution, as we saw it in the Soviet Union, we saw it in Yugoslavia. We saw that all this has happened before in the past, but yet, but yet, we are not able to say that should we not 
have our own right to self-determination in the next eight years, then we would have to wait much more longer. Because by 2031, power will change. All this Yoruba, Yoruba that everybody's talking about will change as well. Everybody knows that. Because whoever becomes the president in 2031, should Nigeria still remain as one, is not going to allow any Yoruba to be your chief of defense staff. Is not going to allow Yoruba to be your inspector general of police. Will not allow any Yoruba to be the same position that the current president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is doing right now. Yes, it's a good move. It's a good temporary political move, like Imperial Majesty King Adioye says. Don't forget, we also need political power to get Yoruba nation. He has got the political power now. He must not abuse and misuse it in the next eight years. Four years to start with, the last in 2027, if Bola Tinubu failed to get Nigeria to dissolve without any war, then there will be more crises in the future. We can't take any more call because of the time constraint. We would have to say to those of you that are still trying to call, let's leave it to the next broadcast. Moki Wale and can see always, well, there's no evil there, but like I said, that is what it says in terms of marginalization, subjugation, whether the evils will be given access to the presidency, I can always say it is not going to happen anytime soon because the North wants power back to them based on the arrangement and agreement, whether PDP will still be a party in the next four years, whether APC will still be a party, I don't know. I got to hand over now to my producer. It's exactly 8.30 on the Star Radio UK network and I appreciate everyone that have joined us once again. We pray for those that have lost their life as we pray for those that are also under 12,000 feet below the water. Let's pray for them, even though we don't know them. That is a sound still picking every 30, 30 minutes. And thank minutes. you so much, Moki Now we are back now onto this Spoken Media Network. We pray that those uh, that are where, working around the clock uh, uh, rescue them. Point, yeah, I we also pray the call now. that we will Let's be rescued. Let's switch well, around a little bit. What is known uh, we just are probably less than 20 minutes and for now, because it's already say, late. Uh, and evening. as you can tell, uh, the studio is running from uh, the home today. So... Uh, I uh, and it is called Mommy Comfort. Any is a good look, so it is it is some baby. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see who was calling earlier. Uh, oh, it was Dennis, time, so I can week, call him back. Place, Thank you so much. Uh, Google and Tia Walori to Google. Uh, Igbo Osha, Mole Yoruba, follow up a little more. Go back to Drozzi, go back to our friend. Where? Go back to Drozzi. I want more. Let me share. Oh, you're both okay, Baba. Today I'm going to be starting the news. Good evening. Oh, you're both okay, listen. Good evening. Baba, Baba, Baba. It's not here. I want to go. I'm going 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 to go. i Okay. 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 
So to ka ma se lori eni sa. O da. Se sa ko ti mo. Ma ki yan baba wa Dennis. Mo ki gbogbo yi yan wa eh ni bi ti amari mo oniju bayi lo. Mo di pe lowo gbogbo yan mo kaaro ojire ti en ba wa ka lo ni gbogbo ba lori eto ti an se. Yi ta an se ni ita. Yi ta an se ninu le eh mo ki omo bola ji mo ki eh Mr. Sonape Thank you so much to all the Biafra that have joined us as well. Uh, also, remember to continue to support. Ah, money mo pepe nko kong wanyi. Benny, eh, ten wami le ti mo sha. Eh, bu wenti bagbe. Eh, kato lo, eh, je kin fi exclusive picture kong wanyi. Ah, mambo. Eh? Mi amba, mi amba nero picture in Nigeria. Oru kwa mi la mama akbo yon. Alay. Mambo. Eh? E je mu picture en jade. E ma iti salo. E mi jade mon control program. E ye ma iti le she suru die. E je ki mu picture en jade. Mi yon ba ni ro picture en jade. Jiri ya. Olo ma eko ye kwe kwa mi la maso. Ah. O yubo, o yubo kari la ye. Ah. O yubo kari la ye. E je mu picture en wa. I she be. Mi she yi le wa. Talo ready. Talo fe mu picture en. Fe yon ya. Yambo bai. Picture en lombo yo. Omo bala ji ki lom kwe le yoni. Cho ti mo picture ti mo fe mou jade ni. Eh. Cho ti di. Cho ti di. Waris. Che e ti di picture en ni. Ha. Oda kwe yin te te le mi la roi. Oda kwe ti. E ti. E ti nji we wo. E yin te je wa lor program. E nji we wo. E nji we wo. Eh. Che ti fe di show e kori be ni. Oh ya. Eh. Wo ron wo ron. Wo su wo su wo bi. Wos, wos, wobi. Oya, mombo, eje mbi soke di esi. Eh? Naba ni ru fikcho e ni na njiria. Eh, kile maso, ti ba ni ru fikcho e ni na njiria. Ti, ti mu ya fikcho e ni na njiria. Eh? Iya mi ola, ola nini. Iya mi bimbi leke. Eh? Te ba ni ru fikcho e ni, to wak me na njiria ni yon ti ya fikcho e. Kile ru koma shele. Eje mbi mbi kura echi kwa wile no. Kile ru koma shele. Eh? If you don't buy a logo, Prime Minister, well, lie, if you want to be celebrating, you know, Mosha, a logo, you could see between what you want to buy, 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 hey, you have no learning, only answer, Bobo, you have comfort to me, what card, the number 10 down the street, you know, everybody, you don't know, 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 Prime Minister, you don't know, that base is a little married. Ah! Along. Oh, I want to want you. Oh, my shoe. Oh, look, go number 10 down the street. Eh? Oh, look, go number 10 down the street. Eh? Oh, look, go number 10. 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 Wa je na Nigeria ni. Ano lo gbo ya je. Ah! Ere ti run ni Nigeria, ibi yen. Na 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 na. Ah okay. Oh phone oton ni mo fi ya picture e ma ta lo pa yen. A ma post yen later. Ki le ri si ologbo yi. Ologbo number 10 down the street mare. Olorun. Ologbo e bo se wa yi. Ori chiri chi prime minister lo ti ri. Ohun gongo, ohun gongo lo ni, ohun gongo lo ni. Ologbo e gongo lo ni. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. What are you talking about? Oh, you're going to carry it. Ah! Oh, you're going to carry it. I'm sure. I'm not sure what you're saying. 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 Olo gbo yi nisi. Konje yi yi kan. Ati lò ri doktor. Ati lò fi kbe doktor kwe yi. Oya wà wò doktor. E jen gò nò da angò wà. Nyan kò lò yi a mè nè bè. Lè yi nò yi pa. Olo gbo yi nè wà sumò wà nè bè ta drosa wà journalist. Nà shè. Ha? E tò wà nè o mò. O mò in tò mis. Hmm? Wà nò da angò lò gbo yi lè lè. Hmm? Then it's like a logo here. Bishop, I didn't know if it is in Nigeria, DSS would have a... Hey! 
Teron ti pe wa pa lo gbo lodo baba mi o loye sunday go eh eh gbogbo ti ma lo next week le le ah Nigeria no be country o pa lo gbo oni oni gbo wo lo ti do lo gbo oni gbo wo ti do lo gbo o ba pa lo gbo o lo ni beni mo mi mi comfort en to ni downing street le yi o lo gbo e lo ni downing street bo se wa eni si wa lie iya go do je nko ko bo ki mo mi wa ye mi si okan lawon e ma ka bo mo mi eh wa ni wa no show ni wa ni ma yo si yan loru london cos cos cosmo la tessa mi cosmo la tessa underscore london big sam ban mo ki coolest underscore gold awon yan po ka ma wa lo instagram ora ko instagram ki nje data bi awon yan ma po lo instagram we have many cats here so ben a awon lu kan awon fo logbo sere nigeria ni kan lo logbo ya je to ba to ba do logbo nigeria ba ah o ti da je niyan to ba lo logbo ni nigeria ona o ma so ti da je ah lo we do a backward country not mi lo ba mo mi lo san it awa soro nigeria o je nigeria ni kan a tell the african country no o backward ju ki lo dale lo to ba san kan fun won ba e nkan mi lo tun ma so nko kon ye won eh my princess eh je kin gba don program lo ja n tu wa tu wa da gbo e eh ki lo sele how are you how are you you look very beautiful why you don't like it mommy well eh mommy so e yi pe mi e ka e ka fi le be ki bi na tu lo relax do no mo te sun na la mo sun 2 hours kan ni kan bi for eh mo su mo kan gbo le di ke mo ni lati lo gbo gba pro mi na mo le mo ni lati lo gbo ah awon analysis kan ti jade re pete bayi mo ni lati lo se aproko ke mi na lo gbo eni o kan fe so gbo eni ko si to kan mi pele gbo ton so awon awon sisters wa awon mothers wa tin so awon ya awon ya wa awon le di ke asha asha ti se eh eh awon ni ko ba mi ma se analysis yin awon fe i will focus on foreign diplomacy eh tinubulu wa ni paris ni si mo awon awon to pade mi ni nigerian embassy le ni ma kon rin eh ko iki oya 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 ori social media ma tin ri e mu ki o mo be ti south east niyan kon wa gba olorun mo to wa se lati satamte bi a gba to the embassy lo so ko ma ra o ma ra eh ke lo ma ra en postal order o tun bi mi pe mo nju we ona fun o tu je ri pe reason mo se so fun yin pe e ba mi subscribe o e lo subscribe ah like e eh se e like new initiative ti mo fe gbe jade yen e wo mo nigeria ti mo so fun yen ti mo ni ibi bayi lo ma gba o tun so fe mi pe ibi bayi lo ni ko hun gba emi le mi tun so bi to ma gba fun iya mi ruka ya kile so any plenty this side as ah lodo ti yan lo gbo ni ko iki am hearing a voice voice that like yeah e ma gbo voice iya da gboru ejo o postal eh mo tun mo tun so fun pe ibi bayi lo ma gba o tun o tun so emi te mi gbe ni london for 25 years ti ba diju mo le mo anywhere la around the gbogbo ti mo wa yen e ri reason we so fun pe e lo ba e je n show be again e je kin show youtube yen e ba la lo subscribe si o wa important to ba te je pe nigeria ni kan la ba si target ambos bo si ko si nigeria ni kan mo fe target mo so bi pe gbo video be ko ni ju 10 minutes lo mo de ti upload video ni up to mo tu show another video kan e je ka jo lo video yen anyway e sha konju na eh eh so ah konju e je ki lo mo video yen wa e ba mi lo subscribe ah le nova 40000 followers lo ri youtube a se gbo ni te wa wa lo ri youtube share like me money eh initiative kan na tun ni yen na e no le ni ko iki ma tesi waju So mo fi lo mo YouTube channel ya wa ni o I ma change the background ya ni si en to ba won da software o ni mo lo OBS ni emi lo so OBS o ni mo lo so ya ki lo mo uh page ya wa YouTube me ti ko ki o du du wa e ri pe a stream lori e what to what to block wa lori e ni YouTube for 20 something days so ile gan ti mo nse ni si mo lo tro back biba ti on lo tro back end ni so page yan le le e je ki fi won yin 
mo be yin e ba wa lo subscribe mo sha korara e mo ke mo kin so pe ka lo subscribe but this particular one e ba wa subscribe a e je yan gbo awon ologbo e ologbo ya je tin block e ma block e so that is a new page and it all by ti se la le ma share link e ni si e ba mi lo se kini e ba mi subscribe so ma play video kon dadi ninu e lara video ti mo se upload amo yin lo ndun leyen ma wori I don't care. So, video. This is a new video. Timo shall upload to here. Right. Let it come, son, daddy. Okay. Three. Three. You will not be London, she's fine. But she a link here. I give him a double. I give him a program. I tell him my video. I give him a double. I move him. At least we pay you 1,000 subscribers before the end of this week. Oh, I'm going to show you the background. 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 I'm going to Benny, and come to show you, but then you buy, don't know what the English is, okay, my son. So, a king, a power go from the beginning of the Subscription e lo gan 143 ah ko iki media eh e je ka push ele jade e je kin fi one more video won yin um 
Okay, it's in Moshe to Los Underground, in Boniawa. Uh, it's in Moshe Lee down in. Okay, let me say exclusively. Though every minute down the street, but I didn't post this anywhere. If I post this, see, I take a boy, no. This is exclusive. Come to Tenderland Road. 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 Tenderland um, exclusive to, to have the privilege, privilege based on my job, job to visit the home, home of the Prime Minister and see the flag right, right there. there. Once, Once again, again like, like I how do I say, uh, it, it takes, takes time, time to build yourself, build yourself in any country, country to settle, settle down. down. But as soon as you settle down, there will, will be a lot, a lot of opportunity, opportunity especially, especially in the United, United Kingdom. Kingdom. Whatever, Whatever you want to do, make, make sure, sure you go for it, make sure, sure you prepare it. it. If, if you're, you're going to study, if you're going to be walking, if you're going to be in whatever it is, is make, make sure you do as much of whatever it is. Uh, and and listen, wrong. even Gamu, they say life, Gloria, if we don't have the right number of people, but if we need life, because we need a certain amount of people before you go live on the page. So even if I want to go live on it, the subscription is still very, very low, extremely low. So it is important that people all subscribe. So even the target, I need another backup, I need backup, I need backup, I need backup, I need 300 subscriptions. So that in case the YouTube app, I need problem, Alini back up here, but the leg on self. I tell you, she life no here. Need to repay. I tell me this the number that YouTube expect us to have. So the mocking a mommy any part of So the first thing people need to do is kaka kote koko bawa subscribe so we lay no about to subscribe so yeah. Then I want to say okay, be a link on con alishi life la to here. So yeah, it's broken. So I just can continue video here. Motiri the second video. Timo wa owa mbe. Kiri timo fiche picture kiri ni mushen people. We jaka wili ton. So video meta lama wo lori. Bishi so our videos kwa eh ni lori kwe ki media. It's because a fe project a late point. Iru ba bati mo baso ra ni si. So muni lati lo she video kon lati embassy wa. Ti mawa gbe ka kiri si ibiti o malosi lo post office ni madere fisi be. So next time iru ba bani ati wo ru video ya koto wa si London. Don't buy me argue with eh eh. In Kokomo, lots of phone. Me niko baba only Kokomo lots of phone. Jolly cool ye. I just can't bother the part of the rest of the video. It will be for the benefit of yourself, your community, and how you might also be helping humanity. From my own point of view, mine is to use my platform called the Koiki Media to propel. And, and advice and, and guide, guide as many people, people especially those that are, are coming to UK for the first time, or those, those that are returning, or those, those that want to have an idea, you know, know living in the UK, what, what does it entail? entail? What, what does it mean? mean? Because there's, there's a, a difference between living in a country and also participating. So, so many people travel. And, and you don't, don't want to engage, engage. You, you have, have to, to engage, engage especially so, so that you can also be a person, person to, to help, help the next person. person. So, so again, again this is a number 10, 10 down the street, street the, the house of the UK, UK Prime Minister, where I am currently, currently making, making these beautiful, beautiful videos. It, it is a beautiful, beautiful weather. weather. And, um, and um, as, as most, most of the time, the UK, UK weather can change rapidly. <laughs> you know, it, it can, can go from windy, windy to sunny, but we are not in winter, as you can tell. Uh, we are in a bright, beautiful, uh, uh, you know, sunny, sunny time. time. Once, Once again, my name is Alami Kweki. Leave a comment down. Which, which government house have you paid a constant visit to? Let, Let me know in the comment section. section but I will be telling you more about 
more, more of my other visit to some more other exclusive places. But for now, it is a privilege and it is always warm to be able to lock my Hello, she fell if a living. But for now, it is a privilege and it is always warm. Very respectful. Very, very respectful. Hello, mother, the government to declare security. So they don't see us as a threat. Then top of the team where Lira Lira Mokimomi or Bridget Agoma taught him where we you know you are part of the family. So they see everybody there as part of the family. Could have been in Nigeria or Lopa called disrespecting anyhow. Mm -hmm. To be able to, to come down, down here. I've been here so many times, but each time I return back, back it's, it's always, always like I've never been here before. Thank, Thank you so much. And that is our cut there. Olugo Tabaya picture the bear. So now let's play the next video. Uh, then I'm about to play video at all. Then I'll bring back to my face and then we will end this. So let me see. I'm going to share a link here. Oh, very straightforward. And they type in Quickie Media TV. Uh, by now, I'm going to buy one on subscribe. Look, based on how to and bet. You know, I'm subscribe. That is big. Look, I'm going to cool. You have to subscribe. They're not interested. You know, I will have a program, but they don't want to subscribe. I mean, only one person. Because 143, they tell it. So we only get one person. Then we go to watch. So check check the button. Listen as a party subscribe. Larry is the name of the cat. He was born in two thousand and seven. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. So we go out of our area to listen that to subscribe. I mean, interesting. All right, let's watch one more. Uh, then um, I will then end this program. <laughs> And that is the beauty of London. You know, London has a lot. Uh, this is coming up from Saturday. I'm going to come up in the post now. Uh, again, as I continue to document the 25 years in the UK, uh, I love my boss. Thank you, Trevor. So, I'm going to come up in the post. Then I will be making my way. Uh, to, to so, so many things, things. but well, one thing again is that let me remind you there's different, different train stations. Station. Remember, like, like I said, get, get the free paper, paper. it is free. Make, Make sure you get yours whenever you are out there. there. You can read so, so much, much of what is happening. It's free. So, so we're gonna buy uh, a bus pass. pass. I need to top up. So, so let me show you on this call today. I want to show people how easy you can purchase your own bus pass. Uh, because because you were a Roman low bank card, that is the touch. Top, Top up. up. Once again, as you can tell, there's a lot happening in London. Uh, there's the West, West End, End Live, but it's a free, free music uh, concert, uh, which is coming up uh, both on Saturday and on Sunday. Uh, but let's just uh, go into the underground the and let me uh, buy my boss pass. So what we're going to do? Oh, I like a logo here. Okay. Oh, look, 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 now you have 
So that is about it. Uh, so uh, again, about our subscribe to Rare, you know, there's a there's a project that we are running on it, but with, without yeah, it seems that the number has gone up a little bit again from 143 to only 147. So the more people, I'll be sharing more of the link out. Uh, I should have another video uh, up again. Um, I'll be there. Any suggestion? No. Send us the info at koikimedia.com. Koiki, enjoy the anything. But like I said, I don't do visa. I don't do anything. Eh? I'm not a visa agent. But in the UK, you know, based on my experience and my mom's experience as well, I can guide you. I can talk about anything. Uh, in the code I put in new with you when you book or do support watch I don't know about that too. But anything you want me to discuss, I send us the info at Quakey Media Quakey, uh Sorolori topic, and I'll look around it. It's a mama this to buy cool in the matiche, but they quit animal because there's difference between the outdoor and the indoor, but we can always match it together. But any of the video there, like I promise you, only do ten only to ten minutes. But it's going to go a long way in the long run so that is how far we can go uh mr labi mokini if it is nigeria full and we kidnap the cat and ask for answer nation is not going uh my block of juba me now eh block uh, you know the moral support and everything. Effort from Bali. We see that one law. Yoruba nation. We are at least three hours, so we've done enough already. Uh, you know, and I still have a lot of videos. Money, but my videos, me too. We should learn. Money, let it download it. Am I being? I think it's a network. The power and the bear. So we're going to add another extra network. Uh, I will come complete the YouTube video. You on Jadi Dada. Uh, it could be the phone. Uh, maybe we will try another phone. Phone download it late. We'll probably try another phone when next I'm there again. But for now, Ejekagbo, you don't see Bowo, and then we end the program with our anthem. Thank you so much. Have a very good evening. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, whether I share Omushe and Wall or Dotti Wani and Gomeson, along to Biloba, Len Consi, and to Allah Bell me. Hey, Colon Bele du Marie, Jack Holy One. It's not easy. Awata Waluri, a full of Funon, Colon Kusha, no, actually, a green pound on your Leo. Don't pay on the So I don't know. Uh, thank you so much. This is one two three. Thank you, my brother. Mukiawa, let us go in for a pata. Yeah, my sister, Muki Gubawa Global Directorate Muki Gubawa Moteku OPC Baba Iba Ghani Adams Yoruba One Boys Mommy Wa Great Solution to the GR One Uh I Google One Organizations at the WhatsApp groups uh to one in Google BT look at potential what they can do just for the awareness to keep going on. Thank you so much. I'm a play anthem and listen, then I will end the broadcast. Now call close Google and after the anthem. And you know if you look Mori Luri Mufilog Bolly decay analysis at Tom Bodele at Tia Shatiche, Midjim of a catch up la lake in Broton Dele. You know, there's a lot of laughing there, you know, but I was going through Bubu nonsense and Moso Kawafi, our sisters will come and do well. So I can't leave for cause. As she must or more, Luri, Easty Moya be a law, like but alone, in Bonantem work at Mala. O Lugbo Yaja. I will look for look good, boo. Not all my value, animal. I'm a terrorist, terrorist government. I will look for look good, boo. Sure. I'm a keyboard, probably, probably. All right.
Olorun ya re emergency not coming out again tonight. O di ola la gbara ile duma. O ma yola ma sun. Shalom. Be a shalom me comfort and shalom. Thank you so much. And Timba Daruko, e ma fi se bi nu. You know, we might not know you're there, but we appreciate everybody. O ran yola ma sun. E ma lo dream ni pa ologbo ya je yo. O daro. For now. Shalom.